It's that time of year. Christmas trees and other holiday decorations are going up. If you choose a real tree, you're supporting a farming operation like the one Katie Pinky visited near Purim, Minnesota. She joins us now for a trip to a Christmas tree farm. Cupkey Christmas Village is more than a tree farm. It's a holiday experience grown from one family's desire to expand their operation. In the summer of 98, I was done with college. Dad wanted to start opening up the Christmas tree farm. The first two weeks were really interesting. All you could see were ma mainly weeds out here in the first section of the farm and then the bigger trees in the back. Then over the course of the years, you know, we kind of changed and our philosophy changed that we actually wanted to start a tradition for families to come come out to the farm, and spend the day, enjoy themselves. In agriculture, we all want value-added agriculture. What's the impact you've seen on your family's business, but also just on this area? We don't have a lot of big cities and stuff like that, so a lot of the other farms that were at part of Minnesota Christmas Tree Grower Association are closer to the Twin Cities. One of our biggest following is people coming from North Dakota. Like me. Like you. <laughs> and so when we have those people come out here, I want to say it has some impact on not only our business, but other people's businesses as well. Sustainable agriculture is something that's talked about a lot in the agriculture industry and I look at a real Christmas tree as a part of sustainable agriculture. You're planting more trees. I, I plant 6,500 trees every year with the hopes that by the time they get to harvestable size that half of them are remaining. And a lot of people say well you know I'd hate to cut that tree down. Well you know each one of these trees a pine cone falls on the ground and I'll get five or six more trees that come up. So I mean they self-generate, they die naturally. If someone was going to make a road trip from anywhere in the region to come to your business here at Cupkey Christmas Village, what would you want to tell them about before they get in the car and they're going to make a couple hour drive? Dress warm. Uh, plan on spending the day and you know because to find that perfect tree Put a little time into it, have, you know, have a good time. In here we have the pre-cuts and for the species variety it's just the balsam and the Fraser firs. Frasers hold their needles a little bit better. Well, let's go with this one on the end. And... Oh, you want this one for yeah, sure? I think so. You really aren't picky, all right. No, I'm not picky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for the kissing ball. You're going for the kissing ball. Where should I hang it? I mean, a lot of people, they hang it kind of by like their doorways where they have the big entrances, like where they have it kind of cradled off here. And then there's actually the door. There's a bunch of different things that you can kind of do with it. I mean, it's just, it's a ball of green. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Cupkey Christmas Village is open through December 22nd.